In this movie, I'm going to show you how to use a fun little app called Percolator. It's available for iPhone and iPad, and it just takes some getting used to, but you can create some amazing effects with it. I'm going to launch the app. In the bottom left corner is a little camera icon. I can use that to use my phone or iPad's camera to take a picture, or I can use the photo library, which is the way I usually work. I'm going to go out here and grab a photo. So this is a, a picture of some rooftops, and I want to do something cool with it. So it starts with the basic filter, and then you can see, first of all, the little coffee cup. I can click that to show and hide my settings. And I have three categories, grind, brew, and serve. But inside each of those, it's just a matter of playing with it to find the category that you really like, the one that you want to work with. So first I'm going to set up how big I want the circles to be. And then I can adjust any kind of effects that I want to apply here. And I hit regrind, and it recreates based on the settings that I just chose. It's actually kind of fun to watch it even create it. Uh, I'm clicking the coffee cup again, and I'm going to click circles. And now the middle category allows me to go out and choose different types of circles. So you can get lots of different types of effects here. I'm choosing overprint. And then finally, this category on the side allows you to take it even further, and I'm going to choose soy. Now, I really like this look, but you can see it's diffused. I've lost a lot of the details. So a trick that I use is to pull this one and the original into an app that allows layers and has blending modes. And you can bring back some of that detail if you use that original photo on a layer above and out of blending mode. So that's another trick that I use. Uh, and then the last thing I'm going to do here is go under Serve and just show you that you can go in and change if you wanted to put a vignette on, if you wanted to put some texture in the background. So this looks really cool. I like what it did. I can click the little heart, and it allows me to save it right out to my camera roll to open in another app or to save it to social media. Another thing I want to show is how much fun it is to work with faces in here. So I'm going to go out and grab a picture of me. So it does a really nice job on faces. I kind of like how that looks already. But I can go in here and take this even further. For example, if I just go in here and start uh, checking out some of these other options, you know, just trying some of them and see what I get. So that one's kind of cool. I really like how the circles are much more prominent there. If I go under here, I might find something in here that I like. So here the circles are getting lighter. Here they got a little bit darker. It's, I lost a little detail of my face there. But again, it's just a matter of playing with these settings to get it to work the way you want it to. It's a great little app. I've been able to create some amazing artwork, but really it's just a matter of playing with it. So again, this one is called Percolator, and it's available for iPhone and iPad, and it's a lot of fun. When you're ready to, um, to export your images, as I said, you just hit the little heart here, and, um, and that's all there is to it. So this is Percolator.